Now we are going to uh, make a uh, test uh, material and um, and a final render it. Before we do that, um, I want to join. Join these two surface together with the point power join function. Oops, it's not working. Um, so I decided to convert this surface to a mesh. Before we convert it to mesh, I want to change the tessellation preset to high and convert to mesh. Select this object and um, and um, extract to mesh and uh, delete the original. Select this one and uh, extract to mesh. Is a sphere. And um, extract to mesh. Okay. Now all the um, mm, all the shape are um, in a mat in a, a mesh. Okay. Now I'm going to render this uh, with a uh, final render. A uh, CBus final render. So I have a preset for the final render Hyper GI. So I load, load it with uh, Hyper GI, and Okay. Uh, apply a uh, <coughs> final render metal material to it. <coughs> Change color to a to a gray dark gray color and uh, increase the reflectivity to uh, uh, 70 and apply all this, this material to um, all this shape okay and now um, make a test render to this seems to be very dark and uh, that is because uh, we 
because I haven't set a HDR image and in the background. So um, under the global illumination and uh, choose the Bima HDR and uh, click and drag to a material ball. And uh, now select the Bima and uh, there's one HDI. <coughs> I have uh, already test test it. It's uh, good to for this scene. And then now let's uh, make a second test render. Um, this time the result are a little bit uh, brighter but uh, still too dark so in the view in the environment uh, click and drag the this material ball to it and check the um, use map and uh, render again So this time the results are much 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 better. So I'm going to create a quick camera from view and check the turn on the show safe frame. And then I'm going to to adjust the location of my tap, my this this uh, tap. Okay, and uh, make uh, another test render. I think I'm going to create a plan. So uh, and uh, um, create a plan. size okay <coughs> change color to white oops now make another another test render And uh, because I set the um, render uh, method, uh, the, the rendering engine to HyperGI, um, um, so um, to get a better result, I change type to engine type to final re final render image, and uh, I'm going. 
going to increase the bounce um, number to 5 and uh, yeah, let's make a let's make a another test render And um, I think I can I can reduce the skyline to point six. Okay, this is the um, test render result and um, for the last thing I want to do is the increase the uh, blurry, blurry, blurry amount of the metal material to 80 and uh, sample to 32 and uh, this time I want to turn down the anti-aliasing and uh, make uh, Final render. Because this takes some time, um, I don't want to waste your time here. So thank you for watching this video tutorial, and bye bye.